Hey everyone, figured uh, haven't done a cattle video for a long time. Might as well do one while I'm out here checking uh, checking for any calves. Uh, we do have one calf on the ground. Of course, you'll see her later on in the video. But, uh, starting out here right now. I was gonna feed them. Been wanting to feed them in the uh, the corral I got set up there because I got, still got to haul out a uh, one heifer, my bull. Need to bring him back. But uh, they're all hanging out over there and just they get a little rambunctious when they get feed. Got one smart one over here hanging out. I was kind of hoping to get away without having any over here, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Go girl. Gonna try anyways. And normally I would do cake, but I didn't like going to the store today, and we have this on hand at all times. So as dry as the grass is. Come on! Come on! Oh, look out. She may be going down the road. I'll talk about her later. Do a brief walk through and kind of explain who all's here, who all's what. Uh, for you, you, you uh, those of you that are kind of new to the channel, haven't watched my very first video. Uh, got into cattle back in 2016. Uh, bought 17 head originally. We're up to 35 now, as far as brood stock. We were up to 36. We lost a uh, lost a heifer and a calf two and a half weeks ago. Uh, they aren't supposed to be calving yet. I'm only checking them every. Well, I was only checking them every two days at the time. So we'll say I checked them on Monday. I wouldn't be back out here until Thursday. So I guess that would be, yeah, whatever, every whatever day. Um, I noticed she had been acting kind of funny. Uh, I checked her out. She wasn't baggy. Uh, she wasn't saggy. Those of you who run cattle know what I'm talking about. So I just assumed there's something else going on, maybe uh, just the hot weather. But I wanted to come out here and check her again, you know, a little more frequently. So I got out here. Plan on getting out here. I checked her on a Wednesday. I wanted to get out here on Friday. I didn't make it. Uh, I was going to check her for sure Saturday. Didn't make it. Anyways, I, I came out here that Sunday. She was MIA and I, I found her. Unfortunately, she had already passed on. But and from the looks of it, I only missed her by it. I want to say if I was out here Saturday morning, I probably could have saved her. And, but I probably would have lost the calf. The calf was huge. But uh, could have at least saved half her. So I'll be kicking myself for the next however many years so I forget about it if I ever do. Anyways, okay, on to the cattle. So, like, this little lady, like, well, her, she's a hold back from last year, 2019 spring. We just turned out with the bull in July. She was 14 and a half months in July, so figured that's good enough. And she was 8.30 on the scale when we turned her loose. Uh, anything with a double yellow tag, like the one right here, they're like the original herd. Got a few that have lost her tags that like to fight. But uh, like this little girl here with the blue tag, she's from the very first year, our calves of 2017. She was a hold back. We held back three that year. We held back, uh, well, two uh, from this year, three from that year. And we held back four from 18. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 17, 18, 19. I can't even think straight. So like these. Oh, and this is one of the uh, this is one of the uh, four I bought last year to breed for the fall. She didn't take, so she's actually getting pushed back to the spring, which is fine because I'm actually going back to the spring just for the very reason, like uh, uh, losing that heifer and calf. I don't ever I don't ever want to do that. I want to make sure I'm able to get to them. So they're going to be that way they can be at the house. Uh, this little lady that's in between here. Yep, move. Her, number 70. There's 66, 69, 70. 76, and I don't remember the other one. So. Oh, 77. So 66, 69, 70, 76, 77. I bought those five this year. They're a Sim Angus cross. 
they are i bought those for savannah my little girl she's born in january we'll give her something to you know something to start with because well we're first gen farmers or ranchers whatever you want to call us uh no one in my family has ever raised cattle at least for you know the last three four generations so uh kind of having to start small buy as we go get down here I'm counting as i go too just make sure they're all here uh plan on holding her back to replace the heifer we lost said so i've got a heifer back at the house i'm going to show you that we're keeping for sure i thought about keeping there's a red one running around here that's one of savannah's heifers this is a girl from last year she's supposed to be calving this fall She's one we held back from 18. She has the red steer running around. She uh, ain't quite as big as I thought she would. Her mom's really good. Her sister's really good. In fact, that number four that I showed you at the beginning is her uh, full sister. Out of the same bull and everything. This little, this lady here, one of the original cows, she's got the two red ones. There's only one out here. Uh, the other one's at the house. And then she has the number seven, which is a black black heifer we've got to, we held back this out here from last year she's an original from last year the first year one of savannah's two of my spring steers from this year only had eight cows this spring just you well know, just just the way it worked out and there's my uh here's my purebred gelvy we actually bought her to be a show heifer for uh ashlyn but that didn't work out. Just Montana didn't like uh, didn't like Ashland. Likes me. Doesn't like Rachel or uh, or Ashland. That's my second bull. This is Pablo. He is out of some big bull in Missouri. And then the guy where I got my other two bulls and my purebred Gelby. And I had five. Lost the one. So my four heifers, balancers from uh, I got hit or from. I can't talk where I got those from, uh, but it's out of his, uh, his show cow, show cow and some big bull in Missouri. So, but so far I'm actually been really impressed with the calves he's thrown, you know, as far as birth and, and growth. Uh, there's that number seven. That's the one I was just talking about that her, uh, her four, she's full sister to that red one there and one at the house. That's one of the original ladies. She's got, uh, oh, she's mom to number 33 and number four. You no, know, this is a lot of, a lot of numbers thrown out there you guys probably don't know no we can't keep track but i see them every day all day so i kind of know what they're doing you know what their numbers are uh these originals i know that's what you want to look at is butts and tails let's see she should be calving actually really soon there's two other steers I wish I hadn't. Uh, I wish I hadn't steered him out right away, because he's actually growing really well. There's the red steer. Uh, another steer. I got four steers, four four heifers. Another old bag from 2018. Yeah. Let's see. She's a little, she's a little on the touchy side. Her and 66 get along well. But 66 might go down the road. She doesn't calm down. She has a, when she has a calf. She's bred for this uh, common spring. All right, I think that's it for here. I just want to come out here, make sure no one's had a calf, and make sure they're all doing well. And it looks like they are. So I'm gonna get off here. Get out of here, go home, and show you kind of probably what you guys clicked on the video for. See you in a few. All right, here is the rest of the herd. Let's see what we got down there. Those are, uh, those are those three. The one laying on the ground are from last year's last year fall herd. We have five out here somewhere. There's a fifth one. 
four of them are sold, even one. Let's see if he's over here. That's one of the heifers I brought back. That's one of the four I'd bought that's, uh, well, five technically, but one of the four that's left I bought as balancers uh, from the guy I get my bulls from and a couple cows. And there's that, uh, the red one I was talking about that's a full sister to the red one out there at the 125. Uh, the reason she's here, she lost her calf last year. Not sure if it was just too big and it's still born, or she pushed it into the creek because we found it in the creek, but there's only like an inch or two of water in it. But her head had been wedged under, or his head had been hedged, wedged under a concrete block. So, like I said, not sure if it was alive and she pushed it in there, or if it was still born and she just kept on licking and licking and pushed under there. Uh, 2018 hold back. She should be calving any time. 9810, call her fingers. Uh, she usually has a bigger calf, but her main problem is the size of her teeth. The calves have a hard time latching on sometimes. Make sure she's around. She did okay if you're out there. The, the one. And uh, another purple tag right there. She is another one of the balancers I bought. She, was, she should be calving any time. Uh, 13 sold. 17 is sold. 12, popping her head back up there, sold. 11 is sold, going to my neighbor actually. Uh, 16 is out of uh, my new bull and the Gelvy that's up there at the 125. And here is Tucker and her little baby. Which I think is kind of what you've been waiting for. Um, had her actually two days ago, I came up here, had a video of basically the same thing. We just went over, uh, uh, early, well, the rest of this video, went to the 125 and, and uh, Shot a video up there, came back, shot a video here, but the wind noise was so bad. Did it again with the GoPro, but the GoPro has a, uh, a little scratch on the lens, so it was all fuzzy. So, anyways, she's doing well. Uh, likes to sleep in the middle of the freaking road, so we gotta sign up. That way no one hauls butt down the drive. Other than that, they're all seem to be doing well. Here's the update. Here's part of the cattle shed. That piece was actually up in the trees. Uh, lengthways. Uh, I think I got a picture. If I do, if I can find it, I'll, I'll post it. And here's the rest of the roof. Down here, it was actually up there with that piece. Uh, the pieces under it are the walls and sides. They were uh, scattered from basically here. They, they made a trail up to the where that one was. The uh, Ripped the, the broke the post off right at the ground level. Um, here's that. Broke all but three of them. I'm actually not sure that that second or that one right there would at the corner is not uh, not cracked or anything. But what ended up happening was we had a little storm come through, a lot of hail, a little bit of wind. Uh, the insurance guy said they had rec records of up to around 100 miles an hour. Luckily, our house is down in the valley. Like it even drops, it drops about 40 feet from even where we're at right here. So, didn't get a whole lot of wind, but we did get uh, Rachel's car got totaled. Uh, mine was in the shop, but the uh, some of the trucks I'm working on got some hail damage. So I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, fix those. Which one had to come in for a paint job, anyways. And then the shop roof and uh, what do you call it? The uh, house roof. Duh. They got replaced, so it was about two inch, two inch diameter hail. So not as bad as uh, Iowa, you know. Lucky, we're fortunate for that. But a lot of, a lot of houses and, and stuff got damaged around here. A lot of cars, a lot of. In fact, I've got two cars I'm working on now. They got totaled out in the storm. So, anyways, um, that's it for now. I do appreciate you guys watching.